Hello everyone and welcome to the GitHub for Scrum tutorial. Today we'll be covering how GitHub can help you manage your Scrum projects. So go to github.com and create an account if you don't have one. If you have one, you can sign in. Once you're signed in, you can go to the top right and create new repository. Give it a name and initialize it with the readme. So now we have a repository. Let's check out some features that GitHub offers that can help you manage your Scrum projects. One of them is issues, which you can think of as backlog items. So let's create an issue. Maybe we want to add a line to the readme because it's boring. You can assign people on your team to this task and you can add labels to help you organize it. Let's say this is an enhancement and then submit that issue. And now we have an issue. Let's add a couple more. Okay, now that we have a couple more issues, let's make a milestone. A milestone you can think of as a sprint in Scrum. You can add a date that the milestone should be completed by and then create it. Now let's go back to the issues and add a couple of these to that milestone. Checking back here, we can see that this now has two open issues. Let's go ahead and tackle this first issue. We'll go back to the root to grab this URL and switch over to the terminal and run git clone with that URL and then cd into the directory that was made and you can see that the readme is here along with the .git directory. So now I want to make changes to the readme, but first I'll make a new branch. I'll call it edit readme. And the reason I have this one here is because I'm tackling the first issue, which is issue number one, as you can see right here. This helps me tab complete the branch names when I want to. Now let's make the change. I'll add a new line and then git commit it. And then now I want to push this branch up to the GitHub repository. So I run git push origin and I'll name it the same name. And now that's pushed up. I'll go back to the root here and you'll see this branch show up right here. Let's request that it be pulled back into master. And the reason that we want it in is because this closes issue number one. GitHub will recognize this kind of syntax and automatically close issue number one once this branch is merged. Now, I'll wait for one of my teammates to review the code, and if they think it's okay, they'll come back and push this merge pull request button. I do not push it. I always wait for one of my colleagues to. That way, we ensure the code is always viewed by at least two people. Okay. Now well, going back to the root, we'll notice that our change is in master now. To update your local copy, first check out master, and then run git pull to pull the changes back from GitHub, and now our local copy is up to date as well. You'll notice in the milestones now that our first milestone is now 50% complete. It will automatically close once all of the issues that belong to it have closed. Those were just a few features of GitHub that make it a powerful way to manage your code and your Scrum development. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and thanks for watching.